Hi guys, Trinity Faye here. Again, it's me. So, I thought tonight I would show you how to use a pendulum. Um, it's a great tool. Um, aside from using tarot cards, it's really cool. So let's go to the Woodland Witch's Cupboard. Okay. I keep mine in little bags like this. I store them in a box too. This one is a chakra pendulum. There's all different ones. There's amethyst. There's, there's all different stones. Just about any kind of stone they make, they make into a pendulum. So let me show you how a pendulum works, okay? I'm going to move out of the way so you can see a little bit better. You First of all, when you hold a pendulum, you want to take the ball, because chances are it's going to have a ball on the end like this. Drape it over your finger, your index finger, like so. So the ball is facing me. I put my thumb over the chain and the ball at the same time. You're supposed to hold it basically across from your heart, like this. Anything I ask the pendulum to do, it'll do for me. I use my right hand, you can use your left hand, it doesn't matter, okay? When you're talking to the pendulum, you want to talk to it as though it's a person. What is my yes? I don't know if you can see that. Keep your hand... Keep, okay, let me start over. Keep your elbow, try to keep your elbow anchored. Because otherwise, if you're doing this, or you're moving or adjusting yourself in the chair, it's going to swing. You don't want that. Okay? Stop your pendulum. Okay? Try to get it to stop moving. What is my yes? Pendulum, if you can't see it in the video, is moving back and forth, toward me, away from me, toward me, away from me. That is my yes. Okay. What is my no? The pendulum is now moving in a circle. You may not be able to see it completely, but it's moving in a circle. Now, my hand is perfectly straight. As you can see, I'm not moving it. What is my no again? Okay. What is my maybe? See it going side to side? So, I've had friends of mine watch me do this, and they're like, you're moving it, you're moving it. I'm not moving it. When you hold a pendulum, your inner self or your spirit guides are working at helping the pendulum to navigate. Your inner self, when you ask a question to a pendulum, you have to ask a direct yes or no question. You can't say, what color is my hair? It can't answer a question like that. It has to be yes or no. If, it's un if the answer is uncertain, for me, I'll get a maybe, and it'll swing side to side. If my yes is back and forth, my no is in circles. However, one thing I did learn is for everybody it's different. Um, my son uses a pendulum. His yes is back and forth. His no is a circle. I've seen other people, their no is back and forth like this, and their yes is a circle. It depends on the pendulum. It depends on the person. And... One other thing I want to put out there, if you ask a yes or no question and you really want the answer to be, say you ask something like, does my best friend love me? And you're thinking, yes, 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 in your head, the pendulum is going to swing to yes because it's going off of your energy. Okay, so it's going to swing the direction you want it to swing. Because basically you're telling it yes already before. So you have to, just like with tarot cards, you have to clear yourself. Sage yourself. Clear your mind. 
and make sure you're not thinking about anything. You don't care what the answer is. You're just asking. That's it. So that is how you use a pendulum. Just wanted to show you guys because a lot of people don't even know these things exist. And if they do, they don't know how they work. It's very simple. And you can cleanse this just as you would any other stone or as you would tarot cards. The only difference with tarot cards is you can't run them under cold water. Stones and pendulums, you can. I usually sage it. You can also run this or your tarot deck under a purifying incense deck. I'm um, sorry, incense stick like frankincense or a purification incense. Um, a lot of people will take it and they'll run it under cold water and then air dry it as you can do with stones or get a piece of selenite and set it on that. Himalayan salt works too. So you can also do that. So there you go. There you have it. That's how you use a pendulum. Very simple. Have a good night. Trinity Faye here. Glad to help guys. Bye.